The Full Metal Alchemist world is ruled by alchemy and the common practice of equivalent exchange. To gain something, another thing must be given of equal value. The homunculi, however, are not governed by this rule, as they are born through philosopher's stones that bypass the idea of equivalent exchange. These seven homunculi have many different appearances, and the one we will be focused on today is envy. The homunculi are made up of the vices of humans. The main protagonist, father, extracted these seven vices out of himself to become the perfect homunculus, as he felt these vices are what makes humans imperfect beings. As the term homunculus means artificial human, some homunculi are more human looking than others and some having true forms that embody their sin. Envy's appearance is as a human with long hair, and though his appearance isn't reflective of his sin, his ability is. One thing to note is that this is not Envy's true form. Envy is able to shapeshift into any person and is even able to create new identities for himself. This plays on the internal jealousy of humans, that we will look a little more in depth in a bit. We don't spend as much time with the other homunculi as we do with Envy, and consequently we begin to have a more intimate relationship with the homunculus. We know Envy as the sadist constantly reiterating his hatred for humanity, restating the fact that humans are weak and inferior to homunculi. We see Envy as always ready to fight, ready to embarrass humans anytime he can. And Envy was the cause of not only death, but war. It was Envy who murdered an innocent child to begin the Ishvalan War. It was Envy who murdered Hughes in cold blood, while posing as his wife. It was Envy who freed Kimberly from prison. The homunculus was a more personal, in-your-face homunculus than the others because of the way he went about doing things. Envy killed wearing the faces of those that made the characters feel at peace. All Hughes wanted to do was go home to his wife and daughter, and his wife's face was the last face that he saw. He knew exactly how to get to Hughes, and he deliberately chose the face of his wife to kill him. And finally, Envy's Envy. The homunculus has been watching humans for many, many years. Envy has been around for over a hundred years. And these were years spent watching how humans are loved and taken care of, how they are appreciated, watching friendship and love flourish. Envy watched the emotions that he was not able to emit. He turned what he could emote, which was wrath and anger into violence, into pride and he began telling himself that he was so much better and more superior to humans. And Mustang was ready to kill him. But as he was finally trapped with nowhere to go and no identities to steal, and stripped to his true self, his true form, the small green monster, we saw his true motivations and desires. The other homunculi gained some sort of satisfaction. Wrath was the general of a great army. Gluttony ate everything. Greed had loyal soldiers, and pride was prideful, gloating the fact that he was so much better than everybody else. But Envy had nothing. There was only one thing that Envy wanted, and it gives Envy some kind of humanity, because it's the one thing that we all want, to be loved. And Envy's true form, from the massive green monster to the little, harmless Envy, really enforced that point. Envy wept at the fact that his insecurities were exposed, but it was even more sad because Envy cried due to the fact that he was understood. That means through his entire 100 plus year long life, not once was Envy understood. Not once. For him, being understood was humiliation. And humiliation not by anyone, but by a human. This caused him to remove his own heart the Philosopher's Stone inside of him, and killing himself. Envy was not envious at humans for being humans, but envious that humans receive love and empathy. And time and time again, he put himself close to love. But as homunculus, it was something he could never receive. Envy had everything he needed to be the perfect servant to father, strength, a powerful ability, and a Philosopher's Stone. But Envy desired the one thing he could never have. Of you. 
love you, human. 